Hey team, welcome back for another exciting video. Today we're diving deep into the New England Patriots and what moves I believe they should make this offseason. We'll also explore the buzz around the team's reported strategy, which involves snagging a quarterback at the third spot and bringing in a seasoned player, maybe even to start right away. If I were calling the shots for the New England Patriots, I'd advise against rushing in Drake May or Jaden Daniels. Considering the ongoing rebuild of the roster, we need to play our cards wisely. Take a look at the skill positions. With players like Judu Schuster, Demario Douglas, and Quan Bowdy, we've got some promising rookies. Talon Thornton and DeMonte Parker are young guns, and Kendrick Bourne adds solidity. Yet, there's no clear-cut wide receiver one. Reports suggest the Patriots are on the hunt for one, potentially signing or trading. Mike Evans could fit the bill, but realistically, the Buccaneers letting him go. Doubtful. Now turning our gaze to the offensive line, there's work to be done. Treat Brown and Mike Wenu are both free agents, requiring attention. Despite these challenges, the New England Patriots, especially on defense, remain pretty darn good. Christian Gonzalez looked like a defensive rookie of the year contender before an unfortunate injury. Keep an eye on Josh Uche, who's a free agent, and other valuable pieces like Kyle Duggar, also facing contract decisions. Okay, hold on. Let's talk numbers. The Patriots boast a projected cap space of about $77 million. Couple that with a top three pick in the draft, and suddenly the future looks promising. Sure, the past couple of seasons have been a bit rough, missing the playoffs and all since Mac Jones' rookie year. But hey, this is the New England Patriots, a widely respected organization, as echoed by Drake May, the potential number three pick, who had this to say about the Patriots. New England. Stay tuned for more insights and exciting updates on the Patriots' off-season strategy. Let's delve into the heart of the matter. It's practically impossible not to discuss the New England Patriots without bringing up the dynasty. I mean, when you think of New England, the immediate image that pops into your head is the GOAT himself, Tom Brady. It's a team that's tasted success and, yes, had a few lean years lately. The Patriots are on a mission to reclaim their glory, and being here in Boston, it's hard to ignore the sports fervor. Now, I'm a massive Red Sox fan. I know, slightly off topic, but this city is a sports haven. Whenever I'm in Boston, thoughts of the Bruins and the Red Sox's past triumphs flood my mind. But let's face it, the recent years haven't been as stellar for the Patriots. That's precisely why nailing this upcoming draft pick is crucial. Now, I've been crafting this video for about five or six days, and initially, I was rooting for the Patriots to draft Marvin Harrison Jr. I believe he's the cream of the crop in this draft. 6'4", 205 LBS with an impressive stat line of 67 catches, 1211 yards, and 14 touchdowns in 2023. However, a harsh reality check hit me. Without a solid quarterback, dreams of success crumble. Currently, the quarterback market isn't overflowing with excitement. Kirk Cousins is technically off-limits, Baker Mayfield might stick with the Browns, and options like Gardner Minshew don't quite spark that thrill. Justin Fields is a trade possibility, but there's a significant lack of standout choices unless we go for a draft pick. The Falcons are putting their focus on Fields and Cousins, realizing that trading up could cost them an arm and a leg. The Patriots, wisely, should stand firm at the third spot. Recent reports echo this sentiment, no trading down. And why would they? They're in the prime position to snag a quarterback, potentially Jaden Daniels, the Heisman winner with stellar accuracy, pocket presence, and an arm that rivals the best. Sure, Daniels has some knocks, like being 23, but that's hardly a deal breaker. Looking at his durability and growth, He's shown resilience on the field. The age factor is nothing compared to the talents he brings. So, there you have it. The Patriots' draft strategy is shaping up, and it's an exciting ride. Now let's dive into the quarterback debate. Picture this, Jaden Daniels donning the Patriots' jersey. 
Wouldn't that be awesome? But let's be real. I think Daniels might be snatched up at the second spot. The Patriots' new general manager, Alex Van Pelt, spilled the beans on what he values in a quarterback. While physical traits matter, it's not the be-all and end-all. According to Van Pelt, pocket presence, accuracy, and the ability to elevate your teammates are the real game-changers. Paraphrasing here, but it seems like Van Pelt is practically describing Drake May. Sure, Daniels racked up impressive stats and clinched the Heisman, but let's not overlook the circumstances. Daniels had the luxury of throwing to Malik Neighbors, a receiver who'd be a top pick in 99% of drafts, and Brian Thomas Jr., another top-tier talent. Now, I'm not discrediting Daniels, but Drake May had a tougher gig. He lost Josh Downs, a big-time receiver, and faced struggles. We've seen this story before, like with Sam Howell, another UNC quarterback who faced a similar situation post-draft. Now about May's tape, it's not flawless. He misses throws, and sometimes his reads aren't spot on. But here's the kicker. He needs time to develop. That's where the veteran presence comes in. Imagine if the Patriots bring in Jacoby Brissett and have him start ahead of May until he's ready. It's a win-win. Brissett knows his role, won't cause a fuss, and can guide May's growth. May's stats from last season, 3,608 yards, 63.3% completion, 24 touchdowns, and 9 picks, might not scream superstar, but bear in mind, he's not the turnover machine. Contrast that with Caleb Williams' impressive 30 touchdowns to 5 picks and Daniel's absurd 40-4 to ratio. Impressive, no doubt, but May is a big 6'4", 230-pound guy, and at 21 and a half, he's got the physicality and age advantage. I've been tossing around the idea of May in a Patriots jersey for a while now. Sure, there was the Marvin versus May dilemma, but if you pick Marvin, you're left with a quarterback gap. The Patriots declared they're moving on from Mac Jones and the quarterback position is too critical to leave unaddressed. Even with May's flaws, he was projected to be number one last year ahead of Stoud and Bryce Young, according to many in the NFL world. With the third pick, the Patriots have a golden opportunity. All right, let's wrap this up by looking at the bigger picture. We're not just getting any quarterback. We're snagging someone who in most drafts, would be the number one pick. It's reminiscent of Malik Neighbors, a guy who, if it weren't for Marvin, would claim the top spot 99% of the time. New England finds itself in a fantastic position, armed with approximately seven picks to work with. Reflecting on last season, the Patriots had the 31st ranked offense, a glaring weak point. Defensively, they held strong at 15th, a commendable feat considering the offensive struggles. They wrapped up the season with the 17th-ranked defense and the 29th-ranked offense. However, let's address a less discussed issue, Bill Belichick as a general manager. During the Tom Brady era, the Patriots excelled in drafts, trades, and free agent signings. Post-Mac Jones, it seemed like the magic faded. The offensive talent is lacking. How many players on this offense can be considered Pro Bowl level? Not many. Take Damian Harris, for instance. He should be the lead back, a workhorse, but something's amiss. Now, according to Pro Football, Drake May is projected to be the pick. I won't dwell too much on Daniels, but if by some twist of fate he falls to the Patriots, that would be a win. Upside matters, and sometimes, like the Josh Rosen-Lamar Jackson scenario, you've got to go for the potential game-changer. Daniels, with his upside, could elevate the Patriots to new heights. It's a tough call, especially with Marvin seen as a generational talent, but having an elite quarterback on a rookie deal is invaluable in football. In conclusion, whether it's May or Daniels, the Patriots have a golden opportunity to secure a game-changing quarterback. The prospect of an elite quarterback on a rookie deal is a game changer in itself. So, New England, get ready for a quarterback-driven future. It's a move that could reshape the team's destiny.